what is the Sabbath? Sabbath is a day of rest. How many times have you tell you? Yes, but again, as a Christian today, right, that Sabbath is not constrained to one day. It's not. It because, was though. Yeah, because that's the. So law. who changed it? That's the Jewish law. Who Jesus, changed it? Jesus. Did Jesus not say, "I've not come to change the law"? But Jesus also said, "I am the Lord of the Sabbath." Yeah, but that makes no difference. That it does because he's a law. Uh, wait, wait. He's a Lord of the Sabbath on which day? Huh? That, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because he himself no, celebrated it, on a hang Saturday. Because when he said that, right? Yeah. I'll tell you a story. They're walking through a field, mm. and what happened? The disciples were eating grain, and when they were eating grain in the field, yeah. the Pharisees came and said, "Why is they doing this on the Sabbath? They should be fasting. It is the Sabbath." They said this. That it's not man who makes the Sabbath, it is the Lord who makes the Sabbath. And Jesus then says, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And even compared to David, as David was again marching through the field and he was hungry. Okay, he had to so, eat. so the Lord of the Sabbath celebrated the Sabbath when? Huh? It doesn't matter what day you do it. Why are you saying it doesn't matter? It matters to, to Jesus. That's the reason he never did it on a Sunday. Well, how do you know he didn't do it on a Sunday? You show me evidence for it. Well, I ain't got evidence. I got enough that. evidence in the Bible to show that he did but it on Saturday. Even so, what is the point of that? The point is this. Look, the Christians change not only the, the translation, they change even the laws, like Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. Okay? okay? Do you understand? And they changed. The, you know what is the most important thing they changed? What is the most important thing? They went and started to worship a man as God. Okay. Now, I'm going to get to that point in a minute. Because that but, was the main point I thought we were discussing. Yeah, yeah, we are. And we sidetracked. No, 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 no. It's all kind of conjunct. Yeah. Now, we understand this, right? What does a Christian believe? What do you mean? What does a Christian believe? Christ is God. Well, more than that. Huh? Well, that's a key. The other thing is a crucifixion. No, no, but why do we believe that? Do you understand the, the whole point of a Christian faith? In what sense? Because the Christians... Like how does a, for example, how when, does a Christian get saved? For example, uh, by the crucifixion. But how? By the blood of Jesus. But what does that mean? It means there is no forgiveness in Christianity. There is only payment by blood. Well, not necessarily. What Can you, you be forgiven without the payment of blood of Jesus Christ? Well, what do you mean by that? Which part you don't understand? Well, the thing is, right, because you said... I'm right, actually quoting Hebrews 9.22. I know. So why you, saying, why you don't understand it then? It's from the I Bible. Understand because, again, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Exactly. Can right. you be forgiven without, shed, without the shedding of blood of Jesus Christ? Yeah, Christ, of course. Christ was the payment of sin. Can you, my question is, can you be forgiven without the blood of an innocent man like Jesus? Well, the thing is, as I just answered your question, you didn't actually without because the crucifixion where it's blood is it? Is it's a yes or no question? Not necessarily. Okay, can you be forgiven without the blood of Jesus Christ? Of course not. No man can. Thank you. So you saying no, but that's why I'm saying, for you there is no forgiveness. There is only payment by blood. For the Muslims, we believe in forgiveness without payment in any kind. Well, because the thing is, it's called atonement. That's what I was going. It's called to get. what? Atonement. Atonement, yeah, yeah I know. Because sacrifices, right? Yeah. Abraham sacrificed. Nobody sacrificed animal, though. Sorry, uh, human being. Huh? Nobody sacrificed human being. Oh, of course not. The only belief, the only, from the Abrahamic faith, the only people who believe in a human sacrifice are the Christians, unfortunately. Well, we don't believe in human sacrifice. So who was sacrificed on the cross? Human or God? Oh, well, of course, Christ. But the was, it a, was he well, human hang or hang a God? On, hang on, Because when Christ was on that cross, right? Yeah. Yes, he was fully man. I agree. So it was a he human was sacrifice, blood. good? But the thing is, the sacrifice was complete through the resurrection. No, no, no. Before you, no, no, no. I'm not before gonna, you fast forward no, to no, resurrection. I'm not, I'm not fast forward because that's part of the picture. Because <laughs> what Muslims do, you separate the picture. That's part of the picture. It's like Abraham and no. Isaac. My question was, was it a human sacrifice or was it a God sacrifice? What do you mean? Who sacrifice? Who who sacrifice was it? I told you man, but the resurrection. So it was a human after, sacrifice. But it came fully after resurrection because that sacrifice was because. I don't mind you discussing the resurrection as long as you and I understand but, that it was a human who was sacrificed on the cross. Because we understand that man wasn't just a man that was on the cross. That's what the Christian believes. Okay, so that's the reason I asked you the other question: Is it a human who was sacrificed, or was it a God who was sacrificed? Well, we Make up your mind. Well, we both. Uh, so both human and God were sacrificed. Because God didn't leave his... It's like this. Jesus didn't leave his deity in heaven, nor, again, did he use his deity on earth in terms of this. So let me get this right. No, you're saying me, both human me, and God were sacrificed. Let me clarify, Is that what you're saying? Let me clarify. Okay, go on. Jesus, yeah. in himself, was fully man. He was also the son of God. He didn't leave his deity in the sense of like this, that he came down to earth and he was just a man. No, this man was more than a man. It was more than a man in the sense of this. If he was just a man, he would have died on that cross and that was it, right? 
but the resurrection was the evidence that this man on the cross wasn't just a random human who was innocent, who God killed, but the innate, unique character of God who then proves himself in the resurrection. Okay. Because we, again, we understand as a Christian, right? Jesus died on the cross for sin once and for all, right? Wait, let me respond, respond to your first point. Okay, so you're saying it was a human, this, this man, Jesus, whom you call, as fully man, fully God, I'm assuming, yeah? Is that what you're trying to say? Okay, so fully man and fully God is the one who was sacrificed on the cross and then on the third day he was resurrected. Yes. Have I got it right so far? Good. Let me ask you this. Do you believe God is immortal? Huh? Of course you believe God. Okay. If someone is immortal, number one, are they subject to death and resurrection? Well, the thing is, I understand where you're getting from. Good. So I answer the question. No, I'm going to answer it. Go on. Because in the, again, if you go to Philippians, yeah. it talks about this. That he humbled himself. Yeah. Even he emptied himself. Huh? He emptied himself. Depending on which translation you read. Yeah, humbled. Yeah, emptied, emptied himself. himself. So what did he empty himself of? Or humbled himself, or lowered himself. Yeah. What, did, than the what, did he, what did he empty himself of? Again, the pride, the ego, that he's God. Oh, 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 say again, say the again. The pride and the ego that he... So he God. emptied his pride and ego. Well, it's like this, right? When it says this, so he, he lowered himself as well, even lower than the angel. Bro, what did he empty himself but of? Let me finish. Answer that question. Because you're answering I, something no, else. No, I, no, I'm not. I'm yeah, go on. on the same point. Go on. Lowering himself lower than the angels, right? Yeah. Understanding this, that he could have went on earth and reigned as a king and walked on this earth saying, I am God. You ought to bow down to me and worship me. But no. As it said, he emptied himself. Of what? humbled himself. Of right? what? Emptied he himself of what? Emptied himself of anything. So why, did, why does the pastor say emptied himself? Because if you look at it, it actually doesn't mean empty. As so empty doesn't mean empty. empty. It doesn't actually mean the fact, oh, he poured out something of himself. Okay, let, me, let me jog your memory. You might have forgotten. But, did he have the glory of God on earth? Glory of God. He yeah. used it, yeah. Does he have the glory of God? The glory of God. What do you mean by... God has a glory, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, he stripped himself of that. Yeah. Does Jesus, during his ministry, have the glory of God? Well, he stripped himself of that. So he's stripped of glory, yeah? yeah? Of glory. Good. When you're stripped of glory, you're a glory less God. So you can't be well, fully God. Well, not necessarily because he still holds that essence of God. No, uh, glory is part of the essence. Huh? No, because as it said in Philippians, he humbled himself. Emptied himself. himself. Emptied himself. Lowered himself. Emptied. Emptied. Okay, you can use yeah, so emptied himself of what? You said glory. And when I asked you, was he a glory less God? You didn't want to accept it. Because the fact is, right, because we need to look at the deity of Christ. I don't agree. How can you have a deity of Christ without the glory? Because the thing is, right, with Christ, his birth is an exa example of how can you have a physical. Well, what's, sorry, what was that saying before? Sorry. My, my question to you was. No, no, just like that sentence you said before. Emptied himself? Glory, yeah, did, did Jesus have the glory of God during his ministry or no, he did no, not? He said, he said something else about glory. What did I, I say? Uh, I can't remember. Glory less God. I said, can God be without glory? Yeah, I answered that one. And, and, and you know, Jesus is actually praying for glory in John 17. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. So if, a, if he was having the glory of God, there's no point in praying for it, right? Well, I need to read that. Read it if you want, no problem. John 17. Is that yeah. when he's praying for, like, I pray that, that you're one like we are one? That, that's right at the end. That's different. But no, that's, but that's more the, problematic no, 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 than... But, but that's the whole thing. We can't just ignore the end. No, no, I'm telling you. All of John 17 goes but against he, your narrative not, of Jesus being God. Because, because look, number one, but if, if, if a God is without glory, then you're talking about a glory less God, which there's no such thing. Yes, he was praying for glory. But in the if end, he had glory, but, there's no but, point in praying for glory. No, it's like, again, so I may be... And at the like end, have, you know, at the end he gets glory, and then he shares the glory with, his, uh, with the no, believers. It doesn't, it doesn't say, John 17, 22. But the, but the thing is, at the Bro, end, you don't want to double check anything. Huh? You don't know the Bible and you don't even want to fact check it. Well, I do. I'm giving you all the references. So check it instead of saying no. No, because the thing is... Because you're, you're unaware of these passages. Because you, you said what? that after that they gave the glory to the disciples straight after that, right? Yeah, it says in John 17, 22. You can check it if you want. Instead of denying it every time. Because the glory of the... Because his own glory was given when he ascended to heaven. When he gave the Holy no, Spirit. No, read it again. In John 17, he's asking God, in fact, he's praying to God to grant him the glory that he had before the world. Then if he's gone glory before the world, that means he existed before. 
Oh, we are not saying. In fact, we all existed before. Do you know that? Before the before our creation, before we came to the earth, before the you know Adam al salam existed. 50,000 years, uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, the glory uh, that you have given me, uh, he, he was, given to them, that they may be one as I in them, in, in them and in you, me, that you may... Exactly, you see? So he shares this glory that God gave him. What happened? You went quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> read it aloud. Yeah, yeah, read that passage and then you can read the rest. So I just read that one. Is that, yeah, sure. Which one is it? 20? So John 17, 22. The glory that you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one as, as, as we, we are one. Yeah, so he's one with so the who father. gave him the glory? But he's one with the father. Wait, wait. Who gave him the glory? Huh? Who gave him the glory? Well, it wasn't given. It says, Read again. You lost the it. The glory that you have given me. You have I, given me. I who, have given to them. Who is the you? Of course, it's the father. Isn't so it? the father gave him the glory, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Now you give glory to someone who doesn't have glory, right? If you already have glory, then there's no point in giving glory. And that glory, where he prays for glory, is right at the beginning. John 17, 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you want to read that passage. Yeah, I'm going to read and No read problem. Well. I'm going to fact check it if everything is the same. Yeah, it? yeah. So, so there's no... You know, the thing is, I prefer it if you fact check it rather than no, just no, denying course, it. Of course. Because the fir first and uh, even before that, you know, in, in Isaiah 42, God said that he will never share his glory with anyone. Yeah? yeah? Do you remember that? Yeah, and here Jesus is sharing his God-given glory with the believers. Yeah. So yeah. Jesus is going against what God... But the thing is... Which, which God said that he would never no, no, do. So he can't be God then. Because before, right? It says also, yeah. it's like, glorify me. It says like, what? Thou hast come to glorify your son, so the son may glorify you. Mm -hmm. Since you have given him authority of all flesh to give eternal life to whom all you have given him, yeah. right? And, During then, and then it mentions again how, again, that he's asking, I'm going to... No, no, continue that. that. Continue, oh. continue to the next second verse. You read verse 1 from John 17. Read 1, 2, 3. Since you have given glory and authority, you have flourished, given eternal life to all. Yeah, I read that part first. Yeah, read two and three. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the one true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The only right. true God. Huh? The only true God. Only true God. Yeah. Who is the only true God according to Jesus? Again. Who? His Father. Good. So when Jesus says that the only true God is a Father, only true God, then is there room for the Son and the Holy Spirit in there? I don't disagree on I don't disagree in the fact that... You don't disagree? Father, listen, I don't disagree in the fact that, again, the Father is one true God. I agree with that. Not one true God, the only true God. No, yeah, the only true God. Okay, so if the Father... But, but, wait, wait, but, wait. No, no, but let me finish. No, no, wait, you need to understand this. Let, let me finish. Yeah, I'll let you read the next passage, no problem. No, 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 no. I'm still sticking the same passage. I'm still sticking the same passage. Okay, go on. But, it, but as I mentioned before, as it says here, it says in verse 23, Yeah. In them you are in them, and you in me, that you may be perfectly one, so that they would know that you have sent me. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Bro, if Jesus says, but the only true God is the Father, the only true God is the mm. Father, then that is how many persons? Of course. One person, right? Yeah. And okay. It, how many, according to you, God is how many persons? But the thing is, they also said this, that, we, that they may be one as we are one. So Jesus and the Father are one. Because it just says here, look. Who is the we there? Huh? Who is the we there? It's him and Christ. That's yeah. what they're talking and about. And then yeah. whom, before that, whom is he talking about? Huh? Just as we are one, so that they may be one. Who is the they? The, the they are the Christians. Of Thank course. you. So all the believers are one with God now. Huh? So how many God you got now? No, no, Billion no, no, in no, one? No, 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 no. It's not like that. How is it? it because, that's exactly what it is. No, because it's like this. The glory I've given me, I've given to them that they may be one even. They even may be one. As we are one. Exactly. They as may be one. one. One with us. Well, we have this Holy Spirit, so of course we have shared. So you got billion in one now. It's huh? not three in one anymore. No, not necessarily. Uh, that's how I interpret, and that's how you interpret as well. No, because you interpret. Because the thing is, you read from the full context of. I John. gave you the full context from of, one. Of John. No, no. I gave, you can look, look. John seven in three. Okay. How many persons is the only true God? Of course, it's one. Okay. But according. No, no. Wait. According to you, how many persons is the only true God? Well, three. Exactly my point. But, uh, but brother, that's it. You know, that's it, bro. But brother, but brother, uh, wait a minute, we, I would rather brother, believe Jesus than you. But brother, what we just read is <laughs> yes. that Jesus says he is one with the Father. Just then. Yeah, one, just like the believers are one with the Father. Do you but agree? Yeah, prayer is one. Exactly. Same unity. No, no, wait a minute. So you all are united in one, in what? Holy Spirit. No, one in purpose. No, he no, never no, mentions no, Holy no, Spirit no. there. Huh? He never mentions Holy because Spirit that's there. that's the only way a Christian... Listen. No, that's the, no, that's the only that's way a Christian... That's the only way a Christian can <laughs> Christian can make sense of that. But you see, when I asked you who is the only true God, you because said one according to Jesus, but three according to you. So should I believe you or...